Right, welcome back to today's video. Uh, in this one, we are looking at uh, still Microsoft Access, um, but now we're looking at how you can create a form. Now, this is something that always comes up in the exams and tests, and it's very simple. Um, on the left hand side, we've got our tables, we've got forms, we've got queries. This is just a sample database uh, that I'm using. And uh, we click on the Create button, All right? So I'll Create tab on top, and we go to our Forms section. And the simplest way to do this is really just to use the form wizard. So this wizard is going to take you through all the steps necessary. And I'm actually going to explain it step by step so that you can see how you actually accumulate marks. So generally, um, when we deal with forms and we ask you to create a form, um, sometimes it could be one mark for the entire form or uh, two to three marks, depending on how the, the uh, teacher has actually set things up. What's important is the following. When you open the form wizard, remember your form is based off of a table or a query that is in the database. So always check the question paper, check what they've asked you to base it on. Um, and then you can go to this section over here and you, here you'll see it'll list everything inside the database. So tables, queries, reports, whatever the case may be. Select the relevant one. And then underneath you'll see you've got a list of available fields. So if we use, for example, table CD table, you'll see all the relevant fields that are in this table. If I change the table to Mesa, You'll see it'll show me the fields inside of that table. Okay, so let's use CD table. Um, we have all the fields and let's say I only want, because remember now, if we look at these arrows, the single arrow means I'm pulling one available field over to the selected, because remember I'm doing this for my form, or I can choose to take everything over. So the double arrows moves everything from the available over to the selected. That means that my form is going to have these fields in it. So let's say I only want artist, I want the CD name, and I want the replacement value. Then I simply click on those, the single arrow, and you'll see it's moved it into the selected fields. At this point, I click on next. They ask me which layout would I like for the form. Um, again, based on the question paper, you will choose the relevant uh, layout. You'll see how they actually differ there. Generally, it will stay on the default, which is columnar. We click Next. And this is now where we save the form as a particular name. So I'm just going to use Test Form. Um, but in the question paper, whatever they ask you to save it as, this is where you'll put in the name. The two bottom options. The first one will just open the form in your data sheet view, right? Or your what we call form view. And if we select the second one, it's going to open it directly into, de into design view. doesn't matter which one you choose. For the purpose of this, let's just leave it as is. And we click finish. Okay, in my case, I do have one name test form, but that's fine. And once we click that, there you can see there's my form. I am in my form view. And I've got the artist name, CD name, and replacement value. From here, I can go and modify it. I can go to the design view. I can do whatever I need to. Um, but this is how we create a form.